What's going on guys, it's your boy TC, here today bringing you guys another Celtic Heroes video. So in today's video we are going to be doing a bank review, I believe uh, the last one I made was around two years ago. And I kind of want to see or compare how much it's changed, because I have had a look back through that video. And uh, looking back now, some of the stuff has changed, but some of it is pretty much the same as well. But we're just going to look at some of the stuff that has changed, and obviously what I've collected over that two year span. So before we get into this, if you guys want to know who the winner was for our mount token, in our last video we did a chest opening, if you guys haven't seen that will be up on screen. We did get some alright stuff, but I suppose the best part of the end was the giveaway. So for the winner for that token will be up on screen as well. Big shout out to you guys, you absolutely killed it with the likes. Let's see if this video can break another 10 likes again on this video. All your support is really appreciated and it's good to know that you guys obviously enjoy the videos. So we're going to get straight into it now. And we're just going to work our way through. I suppose some of this stuff obviously hasn't changed as well as obviously the solstice here has not changed because obviously I've got my lessons and my graters but the main thing that I have added to this is I believe the enforcer mask is not that too good I suppose the sky gem level 60 because I think you can only get these at obviously level 80 I don't know what the deal is with that I think it might have been an older piece as well got some bear helms got some glimmer wing stuff and it's got some fairy queen stuff I suppose the majority of this, obviously inside this bank, is going to be some old event stuff. Mainly going from around 2012 to about 2015. I suppose one of the main things I like to do is collect old things. And obviously see what it's like further on down the line. I suppose you can call myself a bit of a collector, but I don't really pay attention to all that stuff. Got our black winter staffs. Got some sunflower ones. I know in the last video I did make, we did have one. So we have gained another one on that. Got some candy canes from 2013, staff of bolts from 2012, and we've got some more firestorm rods, and we've obviously got a master twisted cleaver, and we've got two icy harps. One of them was from our chest opening that we did, I managed to actually find out where I actually went to. And now we've got some frosty candy canes again, some battle skewers, and some flutes just to top it all off. Not much has really changed for the weapons and the armor. I suppose just the little additions to it, just to make it nice. Next up we have got our jewellery. I think we've added a gold shrink charm to the pile. And just some extra pieces like some cron and obviously some glass sets. or well, not sets, some rings. Not much has changed, but obviously we have added some more stuff to the pile. For fashion, we've quite probably picked up probably the most stuff out of the lot. We've also got some of our black hats and our black masks. We've also got some more Yuletide helper hats. Got some reds, and I believe we have an orange one as well. Yeah, we've got orange and yellow to add to the collection from 2012. We also have some more of these garlands. I know I do have a red garland on Trilogy Book, and that is for our speed questing series. <laughs> Managed to pick up a white nature mask. I think I picked it up for around 30,000 gold. I'm not sure how much that would be worth on other servers, but I think it's the right price for obviously being a white mask got some blonde Lanrick wigs and some charms and we also do have some eagle crests. Since these updates have been going on obviously new fishing holes have been added obviously more levels so I will definitely give that a go obviously seeing what we can get. For our consumables this is probably the best part we've also got some old event chests as well from 2015, 2015 and 2016 as well. The thing I've got planned is going to be saving up some of these event chests and doing like a big retro chest opening. See if we can make it one of the biggest ones on YouTube for Celtic Heroes. So we've obviously got our chests. And we do also have some bounty bags from 2015 I believe. I'm not sure when that one was. I think it was probably 2016. But we have been saving our bags as well. Trying to get some old stuff. Trying to so you can make that stockpile for a big opening. So with our last slot for others. This is pretty much just a random thing of obviously all the stuff I really don't use. And some stuff from old events like our fox gloves and foss flowers. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I suppose I'll just leave it here or probably put it to another account. So obviously ancient resurrection idols and some random green pumpkin. Which I have no idea where I got this from. Or actually how I got this. Or even what it does. So other than that not much has changed for this inventory video. Hopefully we've obviously comparing the two back now. Well, editing this, we do have quite a lot of change in this. I know for some stuff we do have 
an extra piece or two of like weapons and stuff like that as well as armor if you guys have any specific types of videos you want to see make sure to comment them down below so make sure you do that so guys it's been your boy tc take it easy and i'm out